Good morning, campers. This is Brandon again with Access RV in North Salt Lake, Utah. Continuing my Palomino truck camper walkthroughs. Now I'm gonna get up into some of their more deluxe models. This is called the HS8801. This is more of their leader into the three quarter ton market. You are getting a few more features and size with this. Uh, I do have some specific Palomino videos that covers construction quality and gets a little bit more into depth about how they're built. Today's purpose is more to show you the floor plan, how everything's laid out, and a few feature benefits. So starting off on this one, you have a nine foot floor length. This one's designed to fit an eight foot bed or a six and a half foot bed, as long as it's within your payload capacity. Looking here at the door sticker, you can see you're weighing 2,460 pounds. So check your manuals, your stickers to see your payload capacity on your truck. These are gonna be all aluminum framed, block foam insulation, gel coat fiberglass. So built to the highest grade of construction quality. This particular model is gonna have the power jacks. Each Rico Titan jack has a 2,500 pound lift capacity. So one jack's enough to lift the camper, but you've got four of them. And we do have a lot of campers here. So I apologize that they're kind of tight together. It's hard to get between them. I also apologize for the road noise out here. I'll do my best to make sure you can still understand me. But as you can see up there, they are using frameless bonded windows that are tinted. They look really classy and upscale. Above that is your exterior marine grade speakers. And the brand new variants of these are now coming with a scissor style side power awning and a rear awning. Out of all the different brands I carry, these are the only guys that do both a side and a rear view awning and as a standard at that. This is also gonna be the first Palomino in their hard side line where you've gained two propane tanks and they are horizontal mount with the level check on them. So it's an easy quick reference so you can see how much propane you have. You'll also notice as I drop this, they use slam latches. And the great thing about those is they use their own unique key rather than the 751 that opens storage compartments on every other RV on the planet. You notice underneath the awning here is a motion sensor light. Really great when you're coming in late at night, fumbling for your keys, that will turn on automatically for you. Directly below that is the pre-wire for a Furion backup camera. A lot of people really like adding those with truck campers since the main point is to tow. Helps you get back and hook up to whatever it is you're pulling behind you. If you add that, simple install, remove the four screws, connect the wire harness, and then mount the new camera and then you put the wireless monitor in your truck and the image is all transmitted wirelessly via Bluetooth. Roof ladder. And they're also using a large folding entry assist handle worth its weight in golden truck campers because typically these are gonna be up in the bed of your truck. Having that stick out really helps it be more stable when you're climbing up and inside. Now I'll kind of look down the path here. You'll see they're using an on-demand water heater great thing about these is they run, I've heard, about 40% more efficiently. And rather than having either hot water or cold water, you can elect what temperature you want your water to be to have a more customized shower experience. Just in front of that is your exterior shower. And looking up in front of that, you have your water and your electrical connections. Now let's pop inside. We'll cover some details in there. You'll notice as I swing this, the door stops itself. They use friction hinges. Those are made to hold themselves open in up to a 20 mile per hour wind. Great thing about that is you don't have that outdated plastic latch that you always forget about and you go and close your door and you snap it off. Stepping inside here, again, you've got a nine foot floor length. And being into their three quarter ton series models, some of the things you've gained now is an oven and a sink in the bathroom, which is really cool. On this, you have a 60 by 80 inch residential queen mattress. Really good quality. It's an actual Serta inner spring mattress. You don't have to get any specialized RV sheets. And then you have your speakers for your stereo system in the bedroom. You have the ones outside and you have some in the living room. Good storage above. Control panel up here. Now I showed you that frameless bonded window outside, you can really see how big this window is. And Palomino is using these slow rise shades. 
up here in the bedroom area, you've got all your TV connections, AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, stereo. A lot of storage space. This is also when you start getting the ability to have microwaves in the Palomino hard sides. Three burner cooktop. You notice they're using solid surface countertops. A lot more resilient than your T-molded laminate. That is the controller for your water heater. Big wardrobe closet back here. You can remove those shelves if you wanted to use the hanging rod or you can add them if you needed the other stuff. Mammoth 20,000 B2 furnace. This is also the first model where you get a larger refrigerator. Because it is bigger, it is no longer a three-way. You're now a two-way refrigerator, so it's AC or propane. Open it up. You still do have the freezer section on top. In the bathroom, foot flush toilet, countertop, and a second sink. So now you don't have to exit the bathroom and go wash your hands in the kitchen sink. Vanity above, then your skylight. Again, this is a Palomino HS8801. Very popular model for the three quarter ton and above crowd. If you have any questions regarding this model or any other Palominos, don't hesitate to give us a call and we're more than happy to lend our expertise. Thank you again.